Hey, y'all, Mr. P here, and we're going to talk about congruent triangles, you know, what it means to be congruent in terms of triangles, and their corresponding parts. So first things first, two congruent triangles are triangles that are the same size, and more specifically, their corresponding angles are congruent, and their corresponding sides are congruent. It's important to understand what it means for the angles to correspond and the sides to correspond. So let's look at these two triangles here, triangle ABC and triangle XYZ. The easiest way to know if two things correspond in triangles that are congruent, so I know they're congruent because that's what I told y'all. The easiest way to know which angles correspond is to look at the names of the triangles. So triangle ABC starts with A. Triangle XYZ starts with X. So I know from that statement, and this is called a congruence statement, a triangle congruence statement, I know that angle A is congruent to angle X. Those are the corresponding angles, so they are congruent. I can also see here that B and Y correspond. And I'm going to put two arcs to show that they're congruent to just each other, but not anything else. And last but not least, C and Z are congruent. They correspond, and I'll put three arcs. So now I have three pairs of corresponding angles, and that's what I have there. Angle A is congruent to angle X, angle B congruent to angle Y, and angle C is congruent to angle Z. And these are all congruence statements. These are the congruence statements about the corresponding angles. We can also use the names of the triangles to help us figure out which sides correspond. So again, these triangles are still congruent. We can figure out the names of the corresponding sides similarly. So I have AB, segment AB is congruent to segment XY. And you can also see that XY and AB are between two corresponding angles. I can also say that BC corresponds to YZ. I'll use two slashes, again, between two of the corresponding angles. And last but not least, AC is congruent to XZ. And that's sort of just looking at the end of the name, so the beginning and the end, AC, the beginning and the end, X, Z. And I have congruent statements for all of those as well. These are the congruent statements that tell us the corresponding sides. Okay, so what it means to correspond is be in the same position or the same part of the triangle in each of the congruent triangles. So even though XYZ is kind of a rotated around version of ABC, they can be congruent, they have corresponding angles that are congruent and corresponding sides that are congruent. So if we're given, if we're told, that's what it means to be given. So if we say given, that means we're told and we know that two triangles are congruent. So OPQ, triangle OPQ is congruent to triangle TUV. We want to write the or label the parts that are congruent and write all the congruent statements. So we want to write the congruent statements for the angles and the sides. So we can do that the same as I just showed you. O corresponds to T. P corresponds to U. And Q corresponds to V. And it's almost easier to just mark up the pictures before I even write the congruent statements. So now I have that all taken care of. Those are my congruent statements. So this is all saying what I've shown on the picture using my arcs that mean congruent. I can also see that OP is congruent to TU. PQ is congruent to TU, or I'm sorry, 
UV. And last but not least, OQ is congruent to TV. So use these triangle congruent statements to your advantage to locate the corresponding angles and corresponding sides. And then we could write those congruent statements as well. So you're going to pause here. You're going to try this example on your own, very similar to the last one. Write all the congruent statements and also mark up these pictures. Show me which uh, corresponding parts are congruent to each other. So as I did in the last two, L congruent to P, M congruent to R, you got to find R, and N is congruent to S. And as far as the sides go, LM congruent to PR, MN is congruent to RS, and these other LN is congruent to PS. And I'll show you my statements here so you can follow along. Check your answers. Now, if I wrote ML or RP or NM or SR, those mean the same thing. Remember all the way back in Unit 1 that I can write a segment using both endpoints, and it doesn't matter which order. I tend to, when I do these, just write them in the order that they're written in the triangle statement. So again, another practice problem here. You try, very similar to the ones that we've done, the three that we've just done. I want you to mark these pictures up, show me all of the congruent parts, congruent angles, congruent sides, and then write all six of those congruent statements for these two congruent triangles.